my name is Tamika Coney, author, spoken word artist. I have a new book coming out October 15th. It's titled Words Unspoken, Volume 1. This is the first of many. And I'm excited to be here with Gorilla Reads at the Book Fair, West Hollywood 10th Annual Book Fair. Now one of the poems I'm going to be reading is something that you all can relate to. And after you've heard it, I hope that it will uh, cause you to think more positive about the recession. It's called Recession Proof. I am recession proof. Recession is real, but it's not my truth. I choose not to believe the bad news of the economy, yet I forge ahead and face every day in front of me. I've learned not to waste my time and money. Give love the greatest gift we have for free. I've learned to set priorities, grow spiritually, take advantage of every opportunity, and use the resources in my community. For some, recession is humility, depression, and aggression. For me, it's making positive out of negatives and progressing while learning valuable lessons and realizing time is of the essence. There is no time for stressing, but appreciating every blessing. The voice rates high and people for no reason die. Prices up on gas, stock markets crash. Foreclosures on homes, less auto loans. More fast food, more bad food. People sneeze, then swine flu. Some entrepreneurs, others going back to school. Job freezes, more diseases. Can't tell the difference between the four seasons. Sign of the times, yet I still believe the best is yet to come. New black president in the White House, stimulus packages to help everyone out. Digital downloads and social networks like MySpace, Twitter, and Facebook to keep in touch. Prayer to keep us lifted up. Touch screens, iPads, and iPods as we sing. Everything's on YouTube and TV. Reality shows about who knows what. Although right now seems a bit rough, just hang tough. We've had a recession before and we've made it through. We'll get through this one too. Just tell yourself, recession is real, but it's not my truth. I am recession proof. All right, so this is another um, poem and it's relative to today. As you know, we have the uh, Conrad Mary trial going on for uh, Michael Jackson, who is someone that has blessed us all through his music here. And I wrote a poem, um, and I had the pleasure of placing this poem in Katherine Jackson's hand, his mother, Michael Jackson's mother, the summer of 2009 when he died. And the title of this poem is called, A Tribute to the King, Gone Too Soon. If I had all the money in the world and sang in every key, played in every key, I wouldn't have enough for a king. You don't realize how much joy it would bring just to hear every song you would sing. You did not live to just half a century, but you were the turn of a century. You definitely rocked my world. What about your childhood as you touched the hearts of every boy and girl? What about your healing as you healed the world? I felt your pain and contrary to popular belief, you weren't insane. You were a genius with an extraordinary superhuman creative brain. And because you existed, the entire world will never be the same. For you forced us to look at the man in the mirror whenever we searched for change. You were just overworked and underpaid. So today, I pay homage to you. The peace of mind and rest that you wanted God granted it to you. You've set records, broke records, made hit records, and yes, you'll go down in history and be in the Guinness Book of World Records. I know your death was a mystery, but God wrote the story and he, he knew your purpose and who you were created to be. You can now sit on the throne and walk the streets paved with gold. As we crown you with victory, a living legend, an icon, your legacy lives on and you will always be bad, invincible, dangerous. I know you love your fans, whether black or white, and despite what the media wants us to believe, you love everyone as you told us in one of your final interviews as you were ready to leave. This is your final curtain call. We've learned so much from you because although you couldn't sleep, 
you would not accept defeat. And although you were in pain and the media dragged your name and fans screamed your name, you vowed to never quit until your final breath. Although you live on, we hate to admit we've come to recognize as you told us, this is it. We are the world, your family, your friends, and your fans. We will always cherish the memories and remember the times. There will never be another like you. We thank God for the gift of you. You were kind and gentle. Your laughter, your voice, your dance moves. You were a trendsetter, a trailblazer. You were a king, a superstar. You were a living legend. You were a wonderful human being, humanitarian. You were a musical genius. You were the greatest entertainer that ever lived. You were gone too soon. We salute you in this tribute, Michael Jackson. Thank you.